Let's get to it. YouTube, what is going on, you delicious guardians? It is Mesa Sean back at it with some Destiny. And uh, I'm going to go on the record and say I think this is the easiest way to kill Crota, or at least the safest. And I only say that because we were able to kill Crota on hard mode tonight twice within a matter of two hours, two Crota kills, and that two hours was only spent because we were swapping characters and stuff. And we even had a couple of 31s with us. And uh, this is a really safe way to do it, so let's jump into it. Now this comes from my clan, Team Resolute, Rezo, baby. Dank and Boomslang jumped on with them. Dank was the master, oh my god, he, this guy could do it in his sleep, so he was Swordbearer. And as usual, Swordbearer was a hunter, using Blade Dancer and using the Blink Strike invisibility perk, so when, you, when he hacks him a few times, he uh, drops a sword, or drops a relic, Blink strikes him, goes invisible, and then kills him. But let's go through what we did in this, it's very easy. I'm gonna call this the Right Side Ogre Strategy. So let me walk you through what I do here. So first off, again, you want to equip armor that's going to give you your health back. So here, I switch quickly to my Mask of Third Man. I drop down to level 31, but I'm able to pick up orbs, get my health back. Then I put back on my armor to get me to 32. So what we're going to do is this is kind of the, the middle side strategy. I mean, middle, God, the middle strategy, but I'm going to call it the right side ogre strategy because you see what we're going to do here. So we're going to go to the middle here. Now, this is where we're going to obviously kill the sword bearer and we're going to DPS Crota. So the boomers aren't paying attention to us, so no worries. And, you know, uh, another thing I got to address here, I'm sick of people saying that the Hunger Crota sucks and that you only you you only have to have Galloran. That, that's bullshit. I'm sorry. Hunger Crota's great. I think in the two runs we did, only, I think, one or two of us had Galahorns, I think, and it was more than enough, okay? You know, the Hunger Crota is a raid rocket launcher. It's made for this, okay? So don't let people fool you and say you have to have a Galahorn because you don't. Because Hunger Crota basically does the same thing. And it's also 331 attack. So here he goes. So he's going in. He went for his hack, and then he's going to do the blink strike. There he goes. He dropped the relic, blinked him. He went invisible. We're waiting for his shield to get back up, DPS him, and then boom, we're going to take him down again. Okay, now we're all going to bounce out and hug the wall to get safety from the boomers, because here's where the boomers can clip you and actually get clipped coming in right here, right in the butt. But uh, again, we're just communicating with each other and say, hey, I need some orbs here. So again, as I said in the um, my previous quarter video, got to have variety, guys. You, you definitely need titans, and I'd always recommend the hunter blade dancer with the visibility blink thing for the actual sword bearer. So um, we're going to go do one more round once Crota goes to the middle, which there's no point in showing you. Uh, after that comes the ogre phase, okay? So we're going to talk about the ogre phase. I'm going to skip right to it. But another thing also is we're having a titan put a uh, blessing of light right in this doorway so that when we come back out, in case those boomers try to clip one of us or whatever, and also we want to make some orbs for each other, we're, you know, completely safe when we're going back out to go to that center spot again, do the same thing, shoot the sword bearer, kill him, and then go in for DPS again. Then the ogre phase, so let's go take a look at the ogre phase. So here we are just finishing up our next sword run. And um, this is going to be the safe area where we're going to go. Instead of handling the ogres outside, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to drop down. You want to make sure you jump over these thralls. Don't even really try to shoot or engage any of them. They're all going to be regular thralls, not any of the cursed ones. We want to get in here, and it's going to be some ledges you can jump on, okay? Now, that door right right there that I just looked at, that's where the ogre is going to spawn from. You're going to have a titan put uh, a bubble right there, okay? I believe uh, Dank was telling um, whoever had the... Helm of Saint something to make sure they put their bubble there. Uh, I'm not sure which particular bubble. I'm sorry. Maybe you guys can comment in the comment section. I just know that a Titan has to put a bubble there because that ogre is going to walk out right into it. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to kill the ogre right here as soon as he comes out. He's going to come out all stunned and everything. While you're waiting here, you're all going to just kill, you know, a couple of thralls, pop your heavies if you need to. And then also, this is where we're going to kill the second ogre also. See, the second ogre is already out. Here we just take down this first ogre real quick. Again, you guys want to stay safe here. Uh, I wouldn't recommend using a rocket launcher on this ogre because um, you, you you can tube each other. And then if you uh, then if you tube each other, you die. There's no way to get the oversaw. So you want to play it safe here. Sometimes we also put a second bubble. You can see we put one to the left here so we can dip in and out, get some blessing of light in there. Again, I'm switching characters just so I can get my armor back. Didn't have time to. Now, going up these stairs, you got to be careful. There is a cursed thrall sometimes there, but one of these guys got him already. What was recommended by Dank, if we had a Void Walker, was to Nova Bomb that stairwell we just went up there and um, create some orbs right there. So when we're all running up, we'll all get a bunch of orbs. But someone killed the cursed thrall, and we didn't have a Void Walker, so we didn't need to. And then again, as we're leaving to go do our next run on Crota, we have a Titan pop a bubble, also make some orbs if possible, get our health so that those boomers don't clip us again, and we're going to go to the middle again, and that's pretty much it. 
and again, you got to be careful because when Crota gets down to, I don't, you know, I hear different numbers on every video. It's either 17% or it's 20% or something. I don't know. I'm not a math major. We just, <laughs> the sword bearer Dank was judging based on that, uh, whether he could kill him in the next hack. We knew that this was the one to get him with. So, and again, when he enrages, don't worry, forget about the oversoul. Just ignore it because you just got to get him down as quick, as quick as possible. And it's kind of hard to ignore the oversoul because you're just so used to, okay, shoot the oversoul, shoot the oversoul. But no, you got to focus on DPS and Crota and just expecting him to do his job. And there it is. So, of course, I get another helmet. It was a better stat roll this time, but I'm probably going to shard it because I'm all about energies now. I need radiant energies because I want to upgrade my uh, Fang of ur yut or ur yut whatever you call it, and also my Black Hammer. Now, I'm finally liking the Black Hammer, guys, actually. So that was three Crota hard kills this week, man. Two tonight was real simple, and then the other one we did two nights ago. So I've got all the raid guns except for the Word of Crota and, of course, the Necrochasm, but I should have a review of the Fang of Uriot up in the next couple days. And that's it, guys. So drop a like on this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Twitter at Sean. Check out my stream. Links will be in the description. And that's it. You stay beautiful, Guardians.